Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. If you don't know me, my name is Duomel Bentley. And no girl, I don't have foundation. This is just, um, you know, the Bentley glow right here, right now. Oh my God, my skin is so bronzed and it's not even a concoction that you can buy. This has just been pure fun in the sun. Of course, well protected with SPF, honey, because you know the Bentleys don't play those games, honey. <clears throat> but let me get it together because I was experiencing enjoying the last days of summer that I'm so happy it's leaving because it's not my favorite um, season of them all. Uh, it's just too hot, too muggy too nasty i'm just not down right so if you know what i'm saying girl hit the thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to the channel hi subscribe to the channel we are ever so growing ever so changing so get in here girl subscribe make sure you're hitting the notification bell so you don't miss any of the craziness and um it is a thing to binge watch in the bentley channels uh aka the doofy channel so woo, baby I have, I feel like I should have the music that goes like, bam, 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 bam. If you know what kind of song I'm saying, girl, you know. I am having a fall. I, I got to think of a name. I got to think of a name. Let's bring Mr. Felipe Bentley, the creator, innovator, Snatcheroonie on the dot of the Dufay channel. He's good in the background. Mr. Felipe, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm really excited. Today is going to be a crazy video, and I have Felipe in the background because he is going to give us his opinion on some of the things that we have here. Now, today we're going to be talking about fall palettes, right? Fall is upon us, and, you know, within the rise of the dawn, darling, you want to ensure that you've got some banging makeup. And, you know, I went through my little collection right here right now, and um, we got some good ones. We've got the expected, the unexpected, the outside of the box palette for fall. So if you don't know what kind of palettes you are looking for, if you're like, I'm not sure what palette to buy. Hi, welcome to the Doofy channel where we have taken a, a mission upon ourselves to bring you the options. So girl, stay tuned. Don't play with me. And let's begin. So I wanted to do several things i wanted to bring you guys the regular old um orange you know autumn palettes where everybody's like you know boom 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 but then i also thought to myself well what if someone just wants something inspired by right what if someone is just not comfortable enough with wearing such bright colors you know on the lids like the oranges and the reds and you know all of those types of tones um which they're very beautiful on all complexions but what if right what if what if you're the one looking at this for that particular reason. Baby, I got you. So let's begin this 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 moment, right? So the first palette that I want to go on here is the Natasha Denona Cranberry Palette. It's a five eyeshadow pan. They are essentially refillable, even though she doesn't sell these singles, unless she does on her website. I'm not sure. Um, if they do, I, I'll post a picture. If they don't, well, you know, it is what it is. However very expensive i have a review you know if you want to know if it's worth the money check it in the list honey i know you're going to be subscribing so might as well you have a point of reference right here right now so i think this is a beautiful beautiful palette however i think that not everybody's going to be into this particular palette um i'm excited i'm not going to lie that i have it in my uh, repertoire i think it's very much so you know the cranberry autumn vibes you have that beautiful bronze metallic you know it's just beautiful i think it's the perfect small palette for someone to like use this what i will note is that this is definitely not the palette for beginners the shimmers are pearlized and beautiful but the mattes are very difficult to work with. Um, so, you know, I'm just spilling some tea. What do you think of this palette, Felipe? I think it's a lovely palette. I like it. I like the colors. I haven't tried Natasha Denona before, but I think it's so like that because of their quality, so mm -hmm. I don't know. I think the pearls are beautiful. I just, you know, I haven't had the best experience in the particularly this palette within the the mats if you want to know which mat it is honey you gotta watch the video right here right now all right well not right now because uh, <clears throat> you gotta you gotta stick around there's a lot of palettes we have i think 24 palettes here 
And I'm just putting it out there. There's another video coming out with 24 more fall palettes. You know how we do in the Bentley house, honey. The Dufe house, the Dufe nation. <clears throat> you go big or you just go home. And we're not going home. Not just yet, right? So, one that I think it's a really beautiful, interesting, more for like someone who wants an inspired buy, for someone that wants something that's versatile and you still want to hang around the kind of price range that, you know, the previous palette had. I think this Pops of Color by Charlotte Tilbury palette is so beautiful. It's inspired by autumn. You can see with this gorgeous bronze, just very warm, almost like pumpkin type of tone, very fleshy. Like when I look at this palette, I think of like carrots <laughs> for some reason, like white carrots. Um, you know, I think of like just pumpkins. You know how there's so many beautiful different textures of pumpkins and colors? This is what I think of when I see this. And I think this is a very beautiful, beautifying palette. And I do think it's expensive as well. And we have a review on this one in particular as well. So if you haven't seen that one, honey, <clears throat> welcome to the Dufay channel and go watch some videos after this one. You know what I'm saying? The Dufay Nation videos, you know, I'm just putting it out there. So lovely palette. What do you think of this palette, Felipe? I think it's... You know, pricing can be a little bit expensive, and it's lo lovely palette. Mm -hmm. I just don't know if I would spend that much money in a palette. Well, you know, I thought the same. I'm not going to lie. I thought the same. I was like fifty-three dollars for before tax for four shadows. But once I used the shadows, once I got to wear the shadows, work with them, I still think it's very expensive. However, I don't think that if you mask up the courage right cough up the courage to pay for the price i don't think you'll be disappointed so if you do purchase it and you do invest in it i don't believe that you'll be upset that you did if that helps you <laughs> so moving on to one that i think it's very outside of the box is the color pop animal crossing five star island uh palette and Another little quad, you know, something very simple, very easy. Uh, packaging is just super, super cute. We have a review on this one in particular as well. And I think that this is a very romantic, like, fall vibe. I feel like you have a little bit of a different option. Like, you have the peaches, you have the warm browns. This is a beautiful pop of color. And I feel like this kind of watermelon pink is perfect for, like, fall feasts or maybe Thanksgiving, things like that. It's just a different way, in my opinion, to approach fall, but I think within the right kind of undertones. What do you think, Felipe? I think it's a lovely palette. I definitely like the pinks and the glitters. However, um, I don't know if I would use this in the fall. I think it would be more for fall and winter, like you said. Mm -hmm. it, you can, it yeah, has yeah. that glitter and that Christmas vibe. And I love the packaging with little Isabel from... From Animal Crossing? Yes. So much fun. We love that game. If you guys haven't seen that video or that review where it's more of a video review of the product versus an actual tutorial, um, they're really, really nice. And I'm really going into depth within pricing, things like of the nature. So if you guys are interested in that video, again, that will be within the channel. So let's move on to the next one. I think this one's a little controversial, even on my mind. This is the Caliente by Artist Couture. And I was like, at first when I saw this, I was like, this is totally a summer vibe like this is a summer palette summer 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 that's like my vibe i'm like olaf you know singing summer or whatever he does right so when i opened it and i just stared at it right i was just like mm, mm, let me get the tea honey uh i looked at it and i said you know what even though this would be a fabulous hot summer palette but looking at it as well i feel like going outside of the box you know, not just going like, oh my God, this color, this color, right? I feel like you have the kind of new era, sexy, vibrant kind of autumn person, right? Wouldn't you say so? Because you have, you know, the pumpkin-y tones, you have those beautiful bright yellow tones that maybe the leaves could turn in. You know, you have those gorgeous like crimson uh, cranberries, you have, you know, like that hot, cheeto kind of red like i think this would be a multi-use palette but also a beautiful out of the box bright ha, i was gonna say haul <laughs> a bright um fall palette what do you think i think it's a lovely color scheme 
um, the packaging is very old fashioned to me uh, the selection is very reduced when it comes to the eyeshadow palette for it the is. price that it is. It is, that's true. I think it's something very innovative. I definitely have respect for a lot of male creators who come up with, you know, makeup company. I agree. And I'm very impressed with this eyeshadow because I would expect it to deliver as much as, you know, Mac Daddy, I think it is the name, um, the creator of this eyeshadow palette, uh -huh. has potential in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... I don't know. I, the, I, it has too many yellows. It has two yellows, and I would have expected to have more like chocolate ones. I I don't know how everything delivers, but everything seems very pigmented. It is. So it is we'll a see. beautiful palette. I haven't reviewed that it's in the channel. I did receive it in Boxy Charm, and I did my eyes with it when I received it. I was very happy with the experience. If you guys want to see a full review with me, like, you know, dragging it to filth, if it's that's what it requires, um, leave it in the comment section below and I'll be happy to take care of any of these palettes on my eyes. So another one that I think it's a really, really interesting palette is this Purr times Barbie. So this is the Barbie collection um, by Purr. I've always wondered, is it pu poor? Is it poor or purr or pure? You know what I'm saying? Like, what is it? Please let me know. What's it? What is it? What do you think it is, Felipe? Pure, pure, purr. I don't know. Either. It's so confusing, right? It is. Because it has like those two little dots on top. I, I, that changes the game. It really does. You know, like, hello, do you see those little dots right here, right now? <laughs> um, but I gotta say, I think this is a beautiful palette. I actually have not used this palette and I love packaging and I love the color story so much. So, like, check this out. Check this out. This is such an incredible, iconic fall palette. I, I look at this palette and I think of fall. Like, it's just rich, warm, cozy. Like, you just want to be wrapped in these beautiful eyeshadows and just be, like, cozy and some skims with her little teddy bear, you know, blah, blah, blah. It's beautiful. And I love the fact that you have a pop of color. I've noticed that a lot of the fall palettes come with pops of color. And this is such an iconic blue. It's more of like a blue turquoise. So for someone who's not used to a blue shadow or doesn't necessarily feel comfortable, I think this is such an iconic complementary tone uh, to any skin tone. So I also think that this palette is great for multi-use. You can use maybe like this two shades or maybe these you can use actually several shades from here for like blush and contour. So I think this is a great palette for your entire face. Well, I you call that palette, let me go ahead and tell you what I think about it. Mm -hmm. uh, the color scheme is very neutral. I like the fact that it has a different shape within the eyeshadows. Mm -hmm. I think it's very interesting. They, if somebody likes really pink and somebody has like pink Barbie kind of dreams, they definitely will love the Hulk packaging about it. I think this is more full autumn for me. I think it's a, one of the best palettes and it's a lot different from what we've seen before. So yeah, I, I like this palette. Yeah, I think it's really, really cute. Now I have never used Pur, Pure, Poo, whatever it is. Um, so I don't really know the quality. Uh, I do know that, you know, upcoming, I'm already thinking over there, girls. So if you haven't joined the Doofin Nation, honey, you don't want to miss what the Bentleys are up to. I'm just going to put it out there. Uh, but we have a video of uh, something related to, to Pur or Pure or Poor. Um, and it's going to be really fun. And it's going to come on the Christmas time. So, uh, you know, subscribe because you just don't know what's the tea right here right now. So moving on to a palette, you guys might think, you guys might think, oh my God, he's so crazy. Girl, hold up. Open your mind. Open your eyes. You see my caramelized skin. I'm living my life right here, right now with it. So open your minds. I think this is another really good fall palette. But my thing with this fall palette, I think it's a very pastel fall palette. So if you're someone looking for a fall vibrancy, but with some neutrals and pastel type of tones, I think this is an amazing option for you. I think that, you know, looking at the tones, you have the golds, you have the peachy, you know, neutrals, you have just such gorgeous tones to create looks that if 
you compare some of, or not most, of the palettes that we have here, this is very similar to a lot of them, but just a pastel version. So I think this is an amazing outside of the box pastel option for someone who's looking for maybe a softer look, right? Because we just went through with the Caliente palette um, by Artist Couture. That's the neon, right? That's the bright, that's a colorful um, fall, autumn type of movement. Now I think this is the soft little baby kiss so what do you think felipe do you think i'm crazy i think that this is very multifaceted. what we've noticed with uh huda beauty products is that she has a lot of good consistency when mm -hmm. it comes to delivering you know eyeshadow pigments and the quality yeah. and definitely this is a very soft vibe like you said it's such a beautiful palette from you know the beginning of the packaging till the eyeshadows yes i definitely agree with you 100 and having her whole face it makes it look so much I don't know. It's just a beautiful. special palette to me. I agree. It's beautiful. Now, we do have a review on this particular palette as well on the channel. We don't have a review on every single um, <laughs> shadow that we have here, girl. Trust but you me. Watch the video. But you do have to watch them because we do share a lot of detailed information and we really do break it down. So you can't miss that. So let's move on to the next one. I want to go with the Hank and Harry. This is the Fuego palette. Um, this is a nine shadow palette. I love how, you know, I keep my sleeves as best as I can. Um, this is a really beautiful fall palette, but I feel like this would be a good competition to the Caliente. The Caliente. I feel like it's very spicy. This is more like fall, fall than autumn-y. It definitely has a vibrant pigments between the green, yellow, and orange. It mm -hmm. definitely has something completely different from what we've seen. We've, we haven't seen that within this collection that you Very got, unique. the 24 uh, palettes, I think you said 24 palettes, right? Uh -huh. the, one of the coolest things when it comes to eyeshadows is that having diversity and having those pop-up colors, and I, I can't wait to see what you can create with this. It's beautiful. It's now, gorgeous. It, it, I, again, I've never it's tried. It's not used it's yet. Beautiful. It is beautiful. It's insanely gorgeous. I haven't tried the formula. Haven't. But again, if you guys want to see a review on that, I do know he is from, uh, is he from Fontana? I don't know, but you know, he's from California. So that's really nice, small business. Um, and I've heard great things, but I just haven't tried anything from him, right? right. So another one that I think it's a really, really great palette, and I have a review on the channel of this one, it is the Ofra palette, and this is the Good To Go Mini Max palette. Now, if you guys have seen that review, you know how much I did enjoy these shadows, and I feel like this is a very neutral approach to a fall work appropriate or a fall everyday very soft look and i really did think that this was an amazing palette because you can use all of these guys as shadows toppers etc etc but you can also utilize these for the face as in contouring highlighting with several options so i thought this would be a really great addition to the list what I did you think 100 100%. 100 million percent. I think it's a really good quality. The fact that it has the highlighters in the middle, it's just a beautiful new. And color. it gives you a lot of options, right? It does. Yeah. You can create so much with it. Yes, 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 yes. Another one that we've done a review on, and I love till death. Girl, Beauty Bay surprised me. This caramelized fantasy you're living in front of. <laughs> So this is the actual palette here. It's so iconic, it's so gorgeous. They perform just like surprisingly well for the price point. Again, I have a channel, or a channel, listen to me. I have a channel, it's the Doofy channel. If you haven't subscribed, right here, right now is the opportunity. Um, but I also have a review on this palette and I, you know, I, I love it. But if you wanna know why I love it, go check it out, girl. Don't play me. What do you think? I agree with you. With them checking it out or with the palette? With everything. It's such a beautiful, <laughs> warm palette. And as you saw, as you guys saw, it has like chocolatey ones. Beautiful. A neutral, charcoal, golden, has bronze. has a little bit of everything. And I love Beauty Bay when it comes to, you know, delivering their quality. Yeah. And here's the thing that I wanted to try and do. The reason why I'm trying to get things out of the box is because not everybody's going to have 20 million palettes, right? It's but expensive. It is very expensive. Eh, eh, eh. Um, but my thing here is that I want to bring things that are inspired by so you can feel comfortable using these 
all year round, yes, right? A hundred percent. I I like that diversity, and I love the fact that you're taking initiative to show everyone that you a pie cannot only be used in Valentine's yes. or on your birthday or only in Christmas. Yes, we're here right now. All right, so the next one that we have is the Revolution, and this, this is, is a Roxy. Roxy, I can't wait to see it. Open it up. Who's Roxy? I don't know. <laughs> Is it not the lady that we watch that she loves Two-Faced? Not her? That's who I thought it was, maybe. Roxy, honey, I'm sorry. The only Roxy I know is Roxy Hart from Chicago, the movie. Felipe has never seen that that movie. Girl. Gorgeous. Like, it is super you, cute. It's a beautiful mint, mintish. Mint, yeah, like a mint aqua glass top. You know what I'm saying? Like I love their mirrors. A lot of people really don't give credit to uh, I was gonna say Colourpop through Makeup Revolution, mm -hmm. but they have so much good quality. I remember back in the day, just quick, um, you know, information when I was working, you know, in the beauty industry. I remember I would I would ask you to take me to Ulta, and I tr I would try like their concealer foundation. Their products are really high quality. Mm -hmm. The fact that they have so much diversity. It's, it's so refreshing. Incredible. And they are also from the UK, just like Miss Beauty Bay right here right now. Yes. And also Charlotte Tilbury. And Charlotte Tilbury. Um, so this one's gonna be really outside the box. Hold up to your seat, honey. Munch those chips if you're chipping, because this is a very colorful palette. However, I thought this would be an incredible addition to your collection if you wanted to get it because I feel like you can cover all of the holiday season if this makes any sense. You can go for spring, you can go for fall, you can go for winter and just reuse and reuse and reuse and never feel like you are kind of stuck with a look, right? So this is the color story here. Again, please understand the process. It's, you know, definitely very different. And I feel like the fact that there's a lot of bright colors takes away from the warmth and the neutral shades that you could use, uh, particularly for the fall tones. But I feel like, again, I want to bring you guys a little bit of diversity. Have you shown it? Yes. What do you think? I love the fact that it has the R. Mm -hmm. And... It's so beautiful. The names are gorgeous. I think it gives you that kind of a spring, but it also gives you fall. It has a diversity going on here. So you think that a person who would purchase this palette, which is really affordable, mm -hmm. um, you can get them in Ulta. I know sometimes you could find them in, in TJ Maxx, not a guarantee, um, but you can find them most definitely on the website as well. So, you know, there's options to finding them. And this Roxy palette, I think you can utilize throughout fall, you know, spring, winter. Like, it's just, again, multifacetic. I did say multifacetic right here, right now. So the next one that I think it's a really actually beautiful palette in general, but also a really beautiful fall palette, it is the Soft Glow or Soft Glam. Ooh, baby, I butchered it. The Soft Glam by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I hate this velvet packaging. I just, I don't like it. I'm not going to lie to you. I think it gets dirty, gross. I don't want to touch them. And like, you kind of want to touch what you've spent so much money on right when you're buying a palette you want to touch your your palette and i honestly i think this is the reason why i don't really use these palettes as much is because it's just gross to me to feel the felt and the dirt and just like i can't i, I you know it's uncomfortable to see also the fall out of the eyeshadows mm -hmm. and then have that on top of your palette and then it starts getting dirty and nasty it, it's just uncomfortable Yes, I agree. But I do think that this is an incredible, incredible um, fall palette, but it's a little bit inspired by. I feel like you can create a lot of sultriness. I feel like you can create a lot of grunge, a lot of like smoke in your eyeshadow with this particular palette. I feel like you're giving me fall, but like you're kind of the girl in school or the, or the boy in school that is like, I don't care to be cool but I'm so cool. You know what I'm saying? But I do hate packaging. I, I really just don't like the felt. If I could like tear it out, I would. But I really do like this particular one. What do you think, Felipe, about the color story? The color story is very neutral, very nude. You can definitely utilize this eyeshadow palette not only in fall, but also like in winter. You know, it, it doesn't matter. It's very multifaceted. 
Right, 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 right. And, you know, you can create several things. You don't have to, it doesn't have to be orange. It doesn't have to be warm, warm, warm. You can give me a little sultriness. You can give me a little sexiness, smokiness. I mean, you're going to go out on a date night, aren't you, honey? You better. I'm just, I'm just putting it out there. Very quickly, you're going to jump on to that Naked by Urban Decay. Yes. This is a very nude and over neutral palette. And by the way, it doesn't have the mirror anymore because it fell off. But yes. I think it's a very autumn-y, bit cooler tones. Yeah. Definitely are. More feeling. sultry, yes. smoky. I feel like this would be another great um, addition slash a competition to the soft glam. Um, it just, again, you can create a lot of different looks that really are comfortable to wear year round, but you will look so autumn or so fall if you just, you know, wear the colors beautifully, put a beautiful lipstick on, and before you know it, it's just ba ba bing ba ba boom. Girl, let's go to the next one. So we have here the Tartus Pro. Now, this is one of my favorite palettes from Tarte. I really, really, really miss this tart i i really do i i fell off the wagon when they did the i think the the pro remix i just my interest for them just really you know skyrocketed you know not the way you would think right it, it really plummeted down but i do think this is a beautiful palette for so many reasons you can use this palette for very neutral tones for weddings you can use this for special events for everyday look but i feel like this is a palette that just brings a lot of elegance to the fall time and i love the fact that again you have those beautiful tones that you will rock in the fall time and then they're all matte beautiful they perform so so good what i like about this color scheme is the fact that the glitters were at the end that's what i'm gonna so say yeah you would knew when to apply that so if you were new to makeup you would definitely have that at the end if you wanted to add a little bit of pop of color mm -hmm. and also you know how they selected every single color story within the scheme yes gorgeous palette one of my favorite palettes that i have and i don't know if they're just continuing this i think the, the packaging is different i think it's only plastic now. yeah well here's the thing i really do miss you tart the way you were here so please come back because you know i'm, I'm just putting it out there right here right now Please come back. Now so let's move on back. to Revolution, honey. Um, let's open her up right here right now. This is like an animal print, and I definitely can't wait for you to review Makeup Revolution because I don't think you have done it. No, we haven't reviewed any of such these. a beautiful package. Gorgeous, let's yes. Let's go ahead and open it up. It's so beautiful and outstanding. Pricing is super, super affordable. It's only like $10, by the way. Depending on where you're getting it, right? Okay. But um, I will say gorgeous beautiful all-year-round palette now this is my favorite color scheme from all the eyeshadows that we've seen okay the reason being is because you have like the you know cooler you have warmer tones you definitely have those peachy you have bright orange tones you definitely have like the nude terracotta like you know air, it's air just cold. perfect for a year I round actually hadn't seen this before. you hadn't no Oh my gosh, it's beautiful all year round, but for fall in particular, I'm putting her back in my sleep, but for fall in particular, I think you could rock so many different looks and really not get bored with this I palette. I wonder what made you decide to go with this palette. I, you know, honestly, I love warm tones. I really do. Like for whatever reason, it's funny enough because I actually, and you'll see it in the second part of the video. We're, we're, we're almost there, honey. Um, I have... You know another palette which we'll talk about that later let's move on because we have a couple of palettes going on here now this is the wild this is the huda beauty obsessions wild palette this is in jaguar this is the newest release yes completely. latest release and i felt like this is such a beautiful sultry sexy palette overall you can Define use all sultry. year round um i feel like you can create a lot of just sexiness in your eyes a lot of depth um, but also look very much so in the zone. You know, to me, it feels more like a Halloween-y, fall-ish, vibe. Yeah, it's just really beautiful. I think that you, and this is another one that I feel like you can use in the winter time as well. I feel like you can use this, you know, in autumn, fall, partially spring. Like, it's such a beautiful palette, but I think that this is definitely incredible quality. I just, I look at it and I'm so in love. Um, and not only incredible quality, but also just incredible for all occasions, which is so good, right? Yes. 
Let's jump into Jacqueline Hill. Now this is Jacqueline Hill, Ring the Alarm by Morphe. I think this is one of the eyeshadow, well, one of the eyeshadow combos she did with them. Um, this is what it looks like. I think this is such a beautiful, beautiful, um, you know, everyday palette for fall, you know, when you're wanting to look a little warm and delicious and like, you know, Thanksgiving is iconic with this eye look. Like, what do you think? I can't wait to see what you create with this beautiful fallish nude eyeshadow palette. You haven't tried any of this collection. So I'm no, no, this. there's a lot that we haven't tried. There's a lot. And I really Girl, want... Girl, there's a lot. You need to subscribe now because <laughs> this one is being... Busy! Now. We're going to get busy up in here! <laughs> so the next one is the MAC palette. And I... I've got to be honest with you, I have a lot of MAC lipsticks, but I never had MAC shadows. I, it is just exciting because you've only had <laughs> the primer. The, uh, and I love the paint pot. Oh, it's amazing. my it's God. One of their best products. So I good. can't wait for you to review this eyeshadow palette. Yes. This is a travel exclusive, by the way. Gorgeous packaging. Beautiful. And I feel like these guys um, are inspired by. These guys are more for the person who is like on the, go. on the go, wants a palette for all year rounds, but also just wants to look in the moment for the particular season. And this is such a beautiful palette. I believe it's called the... Da, 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 da. This is the 18 karat rose gold palette. Oh my God, how, what a fabulous name. I love the pinky tone like mm -hmm. the rosy oh my gosh that's my favorite color there and i love the brown too i think the brown is one of my favorite shades I, this is such a beautiful palette that you can definitely utilize all year rounds but also again have heavy presence of the the time right which is fall autumn etc etc so let's go on to the next one and this is dominique cosmetics now I have such a lovely story. Felipe gifted me these um, a little when they first came out, and I haven't used them because I almost I feel so grateful, and I don't I almost like don't want to touch. I don't know if you guys have ever felt like when you have something that you appreciate so much, you don't want to you don't want to use it because it's gonna go away at at some point, right? But I love this palette so much for the fact that Felipe gifted gifted it to me, and I love the imagery. I love how expensive this feels. I think this actually feels more expensive than Natasha Denona. Um, it's just heavy and it just it's and it's beautiful. Not that no, beautiful sleeve. You do have the back here with the tones. This is the Celestial uh, Storm palette. Incredible packaging. And when we open it, I think this is an outside of the box, colorful fall autumn palette. Now, let me tell you what I think. I think she should have stick with the metallic, glamour, glitterish slate. I feel like to me personally, I like the packaging, but I think she would have continued with the other. Like I agree. Said. I agree with However, the metallic, yeah. This is such a full vibe, and it has so many gorgeous tones. It has a like cooler gray, silvers, has a black. It's a very beautiful. Yeah. Yep, it really does. And again, this is a palette that you can use all year round. It doesn't have to be in any way, shape, or form limited to what you're doing and how you're doing it, right? I can't wait to see what's next. I know, I know, I'm so excited. So let's go on to, I, I just, I, girl, 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 the controversial life right here, right now. Girl, if you love Jeffree Star, give me a thumbs up. If you hate Jeffree Star, give me a thumbs up. And subscribe to the channel, don't forget that. So I think this is definitely, um, I wanna say like a collector's piece at this point. Um, they don't make this anymore, but whoever does have it, I know it did sell out several times, so I'm sure a lot of people do have it, and that's why I decided to bring it into this particular suggestion. I think this is such a beautiful, multi-tone, diverse palette for fall. It is definitely very diverse. It has the greens, pop of glitters, it has the pinks, it has the neutrals, has the beautiful black and chocolatey ones. Yeah. It's definitely a beautiful pad that not only you can use on the fall, but you can use all year round. I agree. So I'm excited for you to see. And Morphe quality of shadows is wonderful. It's you know? amazing. Like we've had really great experiences. It's awesome. I'm gonna segue right here right now. I, what I, said. I said what I said. And we're gonna jump into Morphe, literally, and I think that this is the palette. The autumn palette the fall palette 
such an iconic, gorgeous palette. Beautiful memories. Let me tell beautiful you, I have so many beautiful memories. memories. I can't wait to see it. And it's so beautiful. Mm. It's so bronzy. I think they discontinued this product. However, it's such a beautiful fall. It is. Autumn. It's the palette. Like, look at how gorgeous those tones are. It's have you done a review on this? This one. No, I haven't. But look at this. Girl. Look at this. Do you see this tone? It's just like, they're so Insane. gorgeous. Like, if you do have this, or well, if you like can $10, get it. girl. Is it then ten? I don't think it it's ten dollars. Oh, <laughs> girl, you're mis you're misleading. But I think this is the fall palette. I think you're gonna look incredible with all of the tones. I know it doesn't contain a lot of like the orange and like reds, but I think it's just. By what the way, that is my second favorite eyeshadow palette. You love it so too. Yes. It's beautiful. I do. I really do. So let's move on to Revolution again. And this is the last product that we have in this video for Revolution. And this is this gorgeous palette that I think is... It is a maxi reloaded palette. It's like a kind of like a multi-verse of so different versions of different colors. So tell me, how do you feel about this product? So I, I've used it before, right? You I have? I have. Girl, don't oh, you see the review? usage, honey? I haven't done the review, but I have spoken about it, you know, utilizing the product. So if you've got a full review, darling, let me know. We're in the chamber right here, right now. So let's go into why I think this is a autumn palette. I feel like this is most definitely a colorful palette, um, but I also believe that it's perfect. If you've looked at the palettes we're bringing you here, they're all giving us the same type of vibe. We have some greens, yes. we have some blues, we have some warm nudes, we have the oranges, and I feel like this gives you options. So that's why I wanted it to bring it in colder, here. It has colder, it has warmer. What I love about this palette is not only the color scheme, but it's also the packaging. You mm -hmm. Right away, you can see what you have. Yes. I love that. And it's very unique. Mm -hmm. It does give me very unique vibes. However, yes. I love the Pricing of Makeup Revolution eyeshadow. Well, we gotta be honest with everybody we here. Gotta We've gotta be. Nyx, you know, most definitely probably is the creator or the the front runner of that packaging. Revolution is very very well known for being heavily inspired, if you know what I mean, by other brands. So you know, it is what it is. They do it and they do it with pride. So I might as well say, if you're gonna do it. Do it with Brian. And we only have three eyeshadows left. Which we one's do. next? So let's go back into MAC. I feel like this is such a gorgeous eyeshadow palette. And this is the eyeshadow palette in Amber from the same collection that they did the Travel MAC exclusive. Again, same beautiful packaging. But when you look at these shadows, they're just so beautiful. And I understand that they're not screaming fall, right? But I feel like this is for the elegant fall inspired person. Someone who wants the eyeshadow to be neutral and, and to be bright but also to give a lot of inspired by the season you don't want to be like that person that wears like christmas sweaters to you know i don't know whatever costco you know there's costcos everywhere um you don't want to be that person that goes all christmas you know like that right and if you do that's fine that's what we have options but if you don't i think this is an iconic palette and so i hear honey that the mac formula is iconic i'm just, I'm just putting it out there again i haven't tried anything so i'm just i'm just putting it out there now iconic london london is iconic right i haven't been to it but i i i, I ever since I was a little You're boy i i've been to the chamba and i love lara croft and she's from england so honey what's the tea <laughs> So, Iconic London released this palette. This is the Sunset to Sunrise eyeshadow palette. Woo, baby! So, I tried doing a review with this, and it just did not work to my expectation. And so you uh, haven't done it? No, because I, I deleted it. And the reason why is because I didn't feel like I was going to be able to bring the... You know, I, I didn't want to bring an angry review. You know what I'm saying? I didn't want to be like, it didn't work for me, so I hate it. You know? So I want to give it a second opportunity. And you can tell by the fallout on the mirror, you know? Oh, yes, And honey. that's what I love about <laughs> you and being honest. You know, if, if something doesn't work, maybe you scream, maybe you yell, maybe you, you Behind know. Behind the scenes, honey. I'll be upset. But you work <laughs> professionally and you give your honest opinion. I You're, do. You don't just jump into a the wagon and be like, yeah, it's amazing, it's great. You know, you actually spend quality time with your eyeshadows. If yes. you could go to sleep with them, you would go to sleep with them. You know, but I gotta say, 
All jokes aside, you know, I didn't want to bring an angry review, but I do think that if you do have this palette, I got it at BoxyCharm, right? You got it? Um, yeah, didn't they, did, did they oh. send this to BoxyCharm? Or did you choose this? I don't know, honey. We got I it at BoxyCharm. Did you? Yes, okay. whenever you... Well, Mr. Philippe Bentley chose this. Thank you, Philippe Bentley. And I think it's a beautiful palette. I think definitely you can scream fall with this. It's Def a beautiful palette. It, it really is. very peachy... Colorful, earthy tones. Has one pop of color, kind of like yellowish, limeish. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I like it. Is yes. it? Oh my gosh, the packaging. It's no. not. I don't like how dirty it gets. Like quick. it's like the Anastasia Beverly Hills. It is like the Anastasia. Okay. <laughs> That's what we're jump on. And we're going to close with Miss Bougie. Rougie herself. Oh my god, she should literally start uh, introducing herself in videos like that, honey. If you like Jacqueline Hill. You know, let her know, you know, let, that we said that so she can start introducing herself as Miss Bougie Rougie Jacqueline Hill. Mm -hmm. And this is another palette from the Morphe collection. And this is Armed and Gorgeous, which is goals. And I think this is very, very beautiful, different. I think this is the most different palette I'm going to show you in the entire collection. I think that that's why I left it, you know, it's as so a... different as a final, but I think it just falls so, so comfortably with, with within what we're saying, within the fall vibes. Okay. So look at how gorgeous this is. Number one, gorgeous. this looks like pumpkin pie, honey. Does not look like pumpkin pie. Let me know right here right now. This looks like pumpkin cream, baby. Like pumpkin soup, right? It's beautiful. Have you tried pumpkin cream, Felipe? I think so. Like, I've tried it. I like it. It's a little sweet, okay. but I like it. But I do think that this is a, just a different buy. It's, it's, it's bright, but it's also not, like, colorful, but it's very colorful. It's just really interesting. And I feel like if you do have the opportunity to get this, I feel like you can use this all year round. I know. I know I keep saying all year round, but you can use it all year round. And within the time of the season, you can look very snatched. Like, I can totally see New Year's makeup with this. I can totally see, like, um, maybe... Fall makeup, autumn makeup, yeah. spring makeup. Holiday makeup. Like, I can see it. Halloween. Halloween makeup. Now, I've got to say something. Not crazy, creepy Halloween, but maybe, like, you some ethereal. Yeah, some ethereal moments. Right. So, that is the first portion of this show. Make sure to subscribe to the channel because Felipe is going to pick out one palette out of the ones that we just showed you. And I'm gonna do my makeup, what I think of a vibe, maybe like a grungy vibe, I don't know. When he picks up the palette, um, we'll see what happens. So girl, let's go do my makeup because I can't just come out here looking like this all the time, Annie. Let's go to the next video. I will catch you on the next one. Bye.